Hello, my name is Garth Bruner. I'm a children's book illustrator and a lunch bag daddy doodler, meaning that I draw quick doodles on my kids' lunch bags every school day, and I've been doing that for several years. A couple of samples. And I've drawn you know, well over 1,700 doodles. And today, I'm gonna to give a quick review of one of my favorite art tools that I use for those doodles and some of my professional work. It's the Kude Take number 13 Sumi Fountain Brush Pen. And I'll show you how I refill it with my preferred ink. Now this brush pen can draw really delicate thin lines to very bold thick lines. And it's a workhorse too. Unlike many disposable pens, so here's one, this one has a a disposable pen, brush pen, has a fiber tip, which is soft and acts as a brush, but that tip wears out pretty quickly and I lose a lot of those thin lines pretty fast. Now the Kuritake brush pen, these are made of actual nylon bristles. This thing lasts forever. It keeps its tip for quite some time and um, and I'm pretty abusive as well with it. So drawing on lunch paper bags and drawing fast, this tip will last me for about a year uh, before it stops giving me the thin lines that I like. Now it's beautifully built as well. The cap and the barrel are made of metal and have a nice black finish. And I throw this thing into my pen bag and then I throw this into my backpack. Um, every day and so it gets jostled around quite a bit but it holds up really well here's my old one I'm... this one I've been using for at least a year and I don't even see any scratches on it really it's it's really well built now the pen comes with three black ink cartridges that have water soluble inks and they're very convenient to swap out let me show you these these little ink cartridges. <clears throat> now I don't use these uh, just because after even after drawing um, they're water soluble and even after drawing they smear. I like to paint with watercolors over the ink lines and even after drawing yeah the water will will smear it. Uh, now if you work the other way around and you do your colors first watercolors first and then do ink on top of that of course it would work really well. Um, but what I like to use is a Cornor Rapidograph uh, ink that I got from a past job. Now this is pretty big here. You can see it's just enormous. Um, I got this from a past job when we went away from airbrushes and uh, went to computers. And so I grabbed that and it's got a really life, a long uh, shelf life. And I've had this container, which I don't think you can buy at this size anymore. Uh, for over 20 years and it's still great. It's a deep black ink that does not smear with watercolors after it dries and it doesn't even clog the brush pen one bit either. It's uh, made for rapidograph pens of course with really small tips and so it, um, it's made not to clog and it works great with this brush pen. Now in order to use my preferred ink I bought a platinum fountain ink, ink converter this is a, uh, the Kuritake pen uses the Plat 500 model converter. Now I accidentally bought the wrong model before, so just make sure you're getting the right model for the pen that you're using. Uh, so this replaces these ink cartridges. And what's nice about this is you can refill this over and over and over again. All right, well, let's get to filling the new converter and start using this new pen. Now, the converter works with a fountain pen by dipping. So this would this is the fountain pen you'd put the converter into. Uh, this one uses a different type of converter. But what you would do is you dip the tip of the pen into um, uh, some ink, and then you would then use the suction, you twist this, and the suction would suck the ink into the converter and fill it up like that. Now, I haven't tried it that way with the brush pen, uh, but it seems like it would get pretty messy, and so what I did is I bought some syringes. That these are, these are used to refill printer ink cartridges, and you can get all these 
at jetpens.com and amazon.com as well. Okay, first I'll make sure that the converter is set for the ink that I'll put in there. So I'll pull this plunger all the way back. Okay, I'll take the syringe and suck up just a really a teeny amount of ink. I mean that much will fill the converter and that lasts quite a while. And then insert that syringe tip right inside the converter and I'll fill that all the way to the top. You can go all the way to the top and when you put that inside the pen um, it's not going to spill over so you can go right to the tip. Okay, I'll take the pen apart And just insert that right in there and push it. You don't need to twist it, you just push it until it won't go any further. That's it. Now we're just going to wait for the ink to come down into those bristles. Um, and it'll take a while, so I don't think I'm going to have you just sit here and wait for it. I'll let you know how long it takes. All right, well, it's only been about a minute, and already you can see the ink flowing down into the bristles there. Yeah, that was a lot faster than I remember. Nice. And so, as you can see, the light's not very good here. It'll do very, very thin lines all the way to really thick lines. And it just bounces right back to that thin point. It's so smooth and so nice. I love it. Okay, so that is set. Put the pen, pen back together like this. And the cap keeps that ink dry, or uh, not dry, it keeps it wet and doesn't dry out. And just pops right on. And that's set. Now what I think I'm going to do is keep my old pen to fill in large areas. Um, it doesn't give the thin line as much. Um, as a newer pens and so I'll use this to fill in a lot of area and then when I want to use thin lines or get thin lines I'll use the brand new brush for that so I'd better mark this pen as my old one somehow because uh, you really can't tell the difference between the new and the old and this one like I say is over a year old maybe two years old and it still looks brand new I can't tell the difference and if you don't want to purchase the whole pen uh, to refill or to replace the tip, I mean, uh, you can buy just the tip itself. It's how it comes. This is one of the older ones that I had. Um, and you can buy this for maybe half the price of the pen. But again, I bought a new one uh, just so that I could use one for the heavy lines and one for the thin lines. There are also higher quality Kuretake brush pens that use real sable hair, which is uh, nicer, and they get a lot of really good reviews. But this one with the nylon brush tip uh, works really well for me. I don't have any concerns with it at all, and uh, I, probably someday I'll get one of the nicer brushes. But since I'm so brutal with some of my drawings, um, using the less expensive pen. This one I got, I believe, for like $16. The higher quality ones, I think they're numbers 40 and 50. This is 13. The 40, I think, is around $26, and the 50 is around $32, $34. I think that's on Amazon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. You can come see some of my artwork at artofgarth.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram at Art of Garth, and we'll see you there.